Blessed be the one holy and living God. Glory to God forever and ever. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The bond and covenant of marriage was established by God in creation, and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by his presence and first miracle at a wedding in Cana of Galilee. It signifies to us the mystery of the union between Christ and his church, and Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity, and, when it is God's will, for the procreation of children and their nurture in the knowledge and love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Into this holy union, Joy and Jonah now come to be joined. If any of you can show just cause where they may not lawfully be married, speak now or else forever hold your peace. I think we made it. I, think we're okay. I require and charge you both here in the presence of God that if either of you know any reason why you may not be united in marriage lawfully and in accordance with God's word, you do now confess it. Joyce Elizabeth, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. Jonah Michael, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. And this question is to you, the congregation. Will all of you witnessing these promises do all in your power to uphold these two persons in their marriage? We will. Who presents this woman and this man to be married to each other? We do. Are you willing to strengthen this marriage by upholding both Joy and Jonah with your love and concern? We are. We'll join their hands. He'll join their hands. Yeah, let's go the other way. Okay, okay. Come together. Perfect. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, look tenderly upon joy in Jonah who stand before you in the company of your church. Let their life together bring them great joy. Grant them so to love selflessly and live humbly that they may be to one another and to the world a witness and a sign of your never-failing love and care. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. I want to turn and face that way. Just, to, just turn enough where you can see the reader. A reading from the Song of Solomon. My beloved speaks and says to me, Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. For now the winter is past, the rain is over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth, the time of singing has come. And the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs, and the vines are in blossom, they give forth fragrance. Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. Set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm. For love is strong as death, passion fierce as the grave. Its flashes are flashes of fire, a raging flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can floods drown it. If one offered for love all the wealth of one's house, it would be utterly scorned. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. If everyone would turn to page four and read along with me, a reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 67. May God be gracious to us and bless us. And make his face to shine upon us. That your way may be known upon the earth. 
your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you judge the peoples with equity and guide the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its increase. And our God has blessed us. May God continue to bless us. And all the earnings of the earth revere him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the first letter of John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. And this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us, and his love is perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in him and he in us, because he, was, he has given us this spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father has sent his Son as the Savior of the world. God abides in those who confess that Jesus is the Son of God, and they abide in God. So we have known and believe the love that God has for us. God is love, and those who abide in love abide in God, and God, ab and God abides in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what concern is that to you and to me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now standing there were six stone water jars for the Jewish rite of purification, each holding twenty or thirty gallons. Jesus said to them, Fill the jars with water. And they filled them to the brim. And he said to them, Now draw some out and take it to the chief steward. So they took it. When the steward tasted the water that had become wine, they did not know where it had come from, though the servants who had drawn the water did. The steward called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first, and then the inferior wine after the guests have become drunk. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this, the first of his signs, in Cana of Galilee, and revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. It's just love at every single turn. Every one of your lessons points us to love. The Song of Solomon, which is nothing but a romantic love poem that has made its way into Holy Scripture. Oh, the tradition has tried to say, no, it's really a metaphor of God's love for the world and our love with God. But read the whole book. It, you will blush if you read that out loud in front of your mother, I promise. It is a love poem. It is a very passionate 
love poem making its way into scripture, which tells us something about the nature of God, this passionate love that God has and condones in our relationships with one another. Then the, the complex writing of 1 John, where everything that Jesus has done, everything that Jesus has said is boiled down to this one thing, which is love. God's love for the world so much that he became incarnate in the person of Jesus. God's love sacrificing for us every moment, every day. And then this, this beckoning that the writer has, that if this is true, if God loves like this, then we also ought to love one another. And then the gospel lesson that you chose, we're at a wedding, just like this one. What a beautiful place for Jesus to show the first sign that the kingdom of God is at hand. And the first thing he does is this extravagant miracle for no reason at all except to bring joy to a wedding. To remember what we just heard, it was a dilemma. They were having a wedding and they ran out of wine. So imagine the bride and groom are a little nervous. The steward and the parents are nervous and a little embarrassed. Jesus' mom loves them, sees it, and comes to Jesus and says, do something about this. They're out of wine. And Jesus responded to his meddling mother's tone, just like most young adults would. Mom, how is this your business? Why are you meddling in this? And what does this have to do with me? It is not yet my time, Jesus says. Well, it might not have been God's time yet, and it might not have been Jesus' time yet, but it sure was Jesus' mom's time. And she says, just do whatever he tells you. So the mom prevails. The mom's passionate love for this friend prevails. And so this miracle happens. They draw hundreds of gallons of water and turn it into wine. This extravagant love in what appeared to be lack, what appeared to be running short, something not quite right. Now, I think I was speaking with someone just before the wedding and said, this is like the fifth plan for your wedding where we're standing right now, right? <laughs> Originally, of course, at least the fifth plan. Of course, we all would like very much to be inside that beautiful historic church, mostly because the AC works really well. <laughs> but of course, that was the original plan. You know, the original plan was to have a bunch of people together, and here we stand, this beautiful circle of friends in this beautiful place, a little warm, but you know, that's what you get for scheduling a wedding during the OU Texas football game. <laughs> See, again, I get an amen. Here we are, but it's not what you originally had in mind. And it's as if perhaps it might feel like you ran out of wine a little early. And it may feel like as you were working on this, scarce somehow, or not quite right. But now look at us, look at you. Look at you standing in this beautiful place, surrounded by these beautiful people, all dressed to the nines, throwing a beautiful party for people that they love. This is the extravagant nature of God's love. That extravagant miracle that Jesus created where there was no wine, delicious wine, just for the sake of the party. This is the way God pours God's love out in the world all the time. Anytime it feels like scarcity, God's love just fills that space with something else, something no one ever expected. And so here we are, celebrating love, celebrating romantic love, celebrating love of community, of all the people that are standing here, celebrating God's love for us and for the world. And we're about to watch another miracle happen right before our very eyes is when you bring yourself to the presence of God and you ask God to bless this relationship, we're going to see it. God is going to create a new thing, a new thing, a new expression of God's love in the world in you. And thanks be to God for that. So we're ready to make that happen? <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, I'll give you mom your flowers.
if you'll turn and face each other, hold hands. Joey and Jonah, I invite you now, illumined by the word of God and strengthened by the prayers of this community, to make your covenant before God and the church. Jonah, you'll go first and say these words. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Jonah. I, Jonah. Take you, Joy. Take you, Joy. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Enjoy. In the name of God. In the name of God. I joy. I joy. Take you, Jonah. Take you, Jonah. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better or for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Bless, O Lord, these rings to be signs of the vows by which this man and this woman have bound themselves to each other through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Slip it on her ring finger and then say these words. Joy, I give you this ring. Joy, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Other hand. Other hand. Left hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. That's better. Yeah, it does. It does get better. <laughs> Say these words. Jonah, I give you this ring. Jonah, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of, and of the, the Son. And of, and the, and of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Extend your right hands. Your right hands. Um. <laughs> We're tying the knot. Now that Joy and Jonah have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. Amen. Look at that. You're married. Just like that. And now let us say the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Thank you not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Then let us pray for Joy and Jonah in their life together, and for the concerns of this community. For Joy and Jonah, seeking your blessing, and the blessing of your holy people. Loving God, hear our prayer. For a spirit of loving kindness to shelter them all their days. Loving God, hear our prayer. For friends to support them and communities to enfold them. Loving God, hear our prayer. For those who seek justice, peace, and concord among nations. Loving God, hear our prayer. For those who seek, who are sick or suffering, homeless or poor. Loving God, hear our prayer. For victims of violence and those who inflict it. Loving God, hear our prayer. 
for communion with all those who have died, especially those whom we remember this day, especially Oscar, Rhonda, Marion, Will, Ed, Everett, Gladys, Elmer, and Mary. Loving God, hear our prayer. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation and giver of all grace, Look with favor upon the world you have made and for which your son gave his life, especially upon this man and this woman, whom you make one flesh in holy matrimony. Amen. Give them wisdom and devotion in the ordering of their common life, that each may be to the other a strength in need, a counselor in perplexity, a comfort in sorrow, and a companion in joy. Amen. Grant that their wills may be so knit together in your will and their spirits in your spirit, that they may grow in love and peace with you and one another all the days of their life. Give them grace when they hurt each other to recognize and acknowledge their fault and to seek each other's forgiveness and yours. Make their life together a sign of Christ's love to this sinful and broken world that unity may overcome estrangement, forgiveness, heal guilt, and joy conquer despair. Bestow on them, if it is your will, the gift and heritage of children and the grace to bring them up to know you, to love you, and to serve you. Give them such fulfillment of their mutual affection that they may reach out in love and concern for others. Grant that all married persons who have witnessed these vows may find their lives strengthened and their loyalties confirmed. Grant that the bonds of our common humanity by which all your children are united one to another and the living to the dead may be so transformed by your grace that your will may be done on earth as it is in heaven, where, O oh Father, with your Son and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign in perfect unity now and forever. Amen. Giver of every good gift, source of all goodness, hear the prayers we bring before you for Joy and Jonah, who seek your blessing this day. Strengthen them as they share in the saving work of Jesus, and bring about for them and for all you have created the fullness of life he promised, who now lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now let us pray. Most gracious God, we praise you for your tender mercy and unfailing care revealed to us in Jesus the Christ, and for the great joy and comfort bestowed upon us in the gift of human love. We give you thanks for Joy and Jonah and the covenant of faithfulness they have made. Pour out the abundance of your Holy Spirit upon them, Keep them in your steadfast love. Protect them from all danger. Fill them with your wisdom and peace. Lead them in holy service to each other and the world. And God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep you. Mercifully grant you rich and boundless grace that you may please God in body and soul. God make you a sign of his loving kindness and steadfast fidelity manifest in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus and bring us, bring you at last to the delight of heavenly banquet where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. The peace of the Lord be always with you. I invite you to peace each other safely and is socially distant. <laughs> peace be with you. But y'all can kiss. Yay. <laughs> And now may the peace, excuse me, the peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen.
just words. I got more than just words. You bring me songs that speak like the birds. So I got more. I got peace in my mind. I got peace in my mind. Knowing that we've got the ties that bind gives me peace in my mind. The lights are so much brighter. The colors so. That your hat, what's making me whole, puts a little joy in my soul. And I got love in my heart. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. I I got my name is James Kane. I've had the privilege and honor of calling Jonah a friend for over 20 years now, and I, I really. I can't fully explain just how excited I am to have witnessed the union that we saw earlier today. Um, I'd like to begin by thanking the bride and groom for all the effort that went into planning today's festivities. Joan and Joy, when you first started talking about this over a year ago, right, there was no way you could have had any clue as to the obstacles and challenges that 2020 was going to throw at you. But through this entire process, you have, I'm, I'm looking at you, Joy, because I've, I've seen the spreadsheet, right? Um, you, you've just persevered through all of it. You've made plans, you've evaluated emerging data, you have uh, revised plans, and all of it culminated in the experience that we all got to share in today. So first of all, I'd like to say thank you for prioritizing the health and safety of all of your guests and, and making all the accommodations you did for that. Um, and secondly, I'd just like to say, well done. This was a, a beautiful event, and, and it's, it's been very amazing. So let's give them a round of applause. So continuing on in the spirit of gratitude, Mr. and Mrs. Jower, I have not had the opportunity to spend much time with you, but I've heard many, many stories. And your reputation for kindness and generosity has preceded you. And the events today have certainly validated that reputation. So thank you for hosting, thank you for facilitating, and most of all, thank you for allowing us to partake in this momentous occasion with you. Thank you. All right, so on to Jonah. Jonah and I met when we were in high school, uh, freshman year. Our relationship was pretty natural in that he was kind of an intellectually driven introvert and frankly I did not know how to shut up so we got along really well. Um, we bonded over interests in music, film, literature and of course the most important storytelling medium to teenagers, right, video games. Uh, we continued to pursue those interests throughout high school and the rest of our teens and 20s. Most of that time frame we were roommates and so I had a unique kind of front row seat to see the development and growth in Jonah that has led to him becoming the man he is today. And I think if you asked any of his friends to describe the character traits that Jonah has exhibited in his friendships, um, without fail, the three that are going to come up are going to be that Jonah is uh, just incredibly caring for all of his friends. He genuinely loves them. He wants to see them succeed. I feel like I'm at a presidential debate with this fly. <laughs> um, he wants to see them succeed, and he's willing to put forth the effort to actually see the success of those that he loves. Uh, additionally, Jonah is incredibly loyal. The majority of the friendships that he's maintained over the years have been long-term. And <laughs> this isn't out of convenience, right, but rather out of intentionality. Jonah's the first person, if it's been a while, to pick up a phone make a phone call, 
uh, send a text message, or even just shoot over a you know, cat meme to brighten somebody's day. And finally, while not exactly a character trait, uh, but more of a personality trait, Jonah is just an incredibly fun guy to be around. Uh, he can find humor in almost any situation. He is, uh, he has an infectious laugh, and it's, it's really difficult to not have a great time when you're hanging out with Jonah. So, when Jonah told me about meeting Joy, we were out to dinner, and, <clears throat> sorry, uh, we were out to dinner, and he starts to describe her in the way that only an English major could, right? And so at this point, I knew that this was uh, probably somebody that uh, was worth meeting, and, and he asked us to go out to dinner together, and so we did. And after a brief introduction, Joy and I quickly found ourselves in a conversation that was relatively deep and about topics that you wouldn't normally discuss with somebody that you just met. And the conversation was incredibly thought-provoking, uplifting, and I walked away from that dinner, and I apologize in advance, this is going to be the cheesiest thing I say today, but I walked away from that dinner thinking that I have never met somebody so aptly named. And I have to say that since then, my wife and I enjoyed multiple meals with y'all, right? We've gone on trips to Vegas with you. We've had patio hangouts during this COVID. And through all of that, through the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows, the stresses of planning a wedding in general, much less during a global pandemic, you've always lived up to that initial assessment. So between the character traits that Joan has exhibited over the years, the character traits that I've seen in you recently, the reason I was so excited during the ceremony earlier is individually, you were just wonderful people and I love you both. But united, y'all are gonna be a powerhouse. And I cannot wait to see what the future holds for the two of you as a couple. Congratulations and cheers. Thank you, that was really nice. So, we're on to our last toast. Last but not least, my mother of the bride a woman that I am personally in love with, Liz Jower. we are today. David and I and our special friends and family to be here to see Joy and Jonah become one. It's extraordinary, it's delightful, it's a little warm, but it's Texas. Um, what can I say about being mother of the bride? Oh, we get a card. We get to pull it every now and again when there are things that we want to kind of have in our way. But the really, truly exemplary thing that happens to be mother of the bride is to be proud. To be proud and thankful to be. God that he bestowed upon us the extraordinarily pleasure of being the mom and dad of joy and now oh wow I get to the be the the letters what are the letters M I L of Jonah wow who is someone extraordinary and I I'm so thrilled and thankful for that, but I'm also so thrilled and thankful for Russ and Sue, who have raised such a beautiful son, who is so which one? loving and caring. And Russ says, which one? All of them, many, but in particular, Jonah, uh, that we're, um, celebrating today and what a delight it is to 
say that we are part of a big, fun, wonderful family. I again reiterate that we are so thankful that you could be here with us today to celebrate Joy and Jonah. Each of you, each of you are so special to them in, in, in any number of ways. My Aussie cousins, Jonah's friends forever, his wonderful friend James who is so eloquent, all of the beautiful bridal party, everyone who is sharing in this wonderful celebration of the two of them starting their life together. And I just hope that all of these good wishes that you have shared by being with them will carry them through. Oh, those are times that may not be so marvelous, but those other times that are so wonderful because they will think of today because you were there with them. And I hate to be a paraphraser, but I kind of will. I, I brought my phone and mm -hmm, let's see if I can make it work and that's not so great. But I just want to wish each of you only the best in your lives and that you share the best of your lives with Joy and Jonah. Only the best is yet to come. To Joy and Jonah, and thank you so much for being a part of today. To Joy and Jonah, and to each of you for sharing this special day. We love you. We appreciate you, and uh, we want only the best for Joy and Jonah and for each of you. I'm frozen! <laughs> and Uncle David and my lovely husband, that German uh, uh, toast, says, I'm frozen. So, water or wine or whatever, I'm frozen to Joy and to Jonah for a lovely life together. <laughs> Here they go. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Marco. Okay. So, uh, enjoy. The bar is open. And uh, keep having a good time. And we hope to see you uh, very soon for a non-COVID celebration. bags on your table there is a sweet little wishes for the mr. and mrs. so if you haven't got around to that please just take a moment and write some of your thoughts down and there's also a um, date night card to share your best ideas with a happy couple so please don't forget about that um, while you're doing that we also are pleased to announce the answers to the trivia quiz well, we're not going to announce them all. We're going to get some audience participation. Get everybody, I hope everyone's on their toes because we're going to quiz you. So this is an honor system. So please get your uh, trivia sheets out and mark yourself. And at the end of it, we do have some prizes, some fun prizes for future games um, within your household. So question number one. Where was the bride born? San Antonio! Perfect, San Antonio. Wait, is there more than Texas. I hope everyone got that right. Where do you want to go? All right, and then what about the groom? Where was the groom born? Austin! Round Rock. Wonderful. Okay, let's see. 
What is the bride's birthday? May 23rd. May 23rd. May 23rd. Okay. When is the groom's birthday? November 23rd, 84. Got it right. We have each other's half birthdays. Okay, what year did the bride and groom meet? 2017. 16 over here? Correct. Great nice work. Where did the couple go on their first date? Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're not very good at pronouncing this one, so Joy, this one's for you. Where did you go on your first date? Oh, well, there's a disagreement because uh, I would say Lavaca Tepan, but she would say that was our, our first interview. <laughs> and then our first date would have been at Hillside Pharmacy. Good one. Okay, Mama. Where was their first kiss? Oh, it was um, by the lake. What they like to walk by the lake uh, in Boston. Get her another drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, that sounds way too romantic. I think you're being nice. It was a parking lot. That was. <laughs> <laughs> it was a parking lot. What? What? State parking garage N. Oh, oh, I said in a parking garage. After the ballet. I don't know if I knew that. What brand was the bride's wedding dress? Uh, I know. Bridesmaids should know this, right? Acme. I know it was. It was Acme. And so my guess was Panina Trinae, but I don't think it is. What is it? It's a lure. I don't even know the brand of this dress. Hey, I'm hey, so hey, everybody's hey, hey. <laughs> like, Oh, my, my mom knows. Oh, what is it? Okay. It is an allure design, and she found it at Say Yes to the Dress, yes, Kleinfeld in New York. Wow. Oh. Yes. That would have been my Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, where's my mate? No. What is the flavor? Of the wedding cake. Dirty. Oh, well, the real cake or the cake that we're going to eat? Oh, goodness. Lemon good. Lemon good and blueberry. German chocolate. Um, and the first dance, okay, everyone should get this one. What was the songs for the first dance? You are the best thing. Guitars and Cadillacs. <laughs> oh, okay. I can't remember. Okay. Oh, Marcio. Marcio got it. Oh, yeah. We got green in this corner. You are the best thing. And how many spreadsheets have to join next time in the wedding? Ha! A million! That's actually correct. Joy's answer to this one was the infinity sign. So you're, you're a spot on. And what are the cat's full names? Everyone should know this. The cat's full names. 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 The cocktail and Percy O'Possum. Percy O'Possum, I didn't know that. I didn't know that word. Percy. I didn't know that. All right, number 14. Who was mentioned in both the groom and bride's proposal letters? Letters? Yeah, you, you think maybe Papa Jawa or Mama Jawa? Parents? I don't know if I know this. Possum and Panther. Diane. Oh. A lot of nice couch with counselor. Oh, Diane. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. What is Jonah's pet name for Joy? Mono Susio. Jonah's pet name for Joy. Oh, 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 oh,
tomato sushi. Okay, so if anyone's good at rhyming, they'll be good at this next one. What is Joyce's pet name for Jonah? Sweet. Jonah Bear. Oh, you're skipping oh, ahead. Hold that one. Yeah. One moment. What? Liz, shout it out. Well, my pet name. That's the next question. Jonah. That's not. He won't let me say, but I'm going to say it anyway. Is Jonah Bear because he's wonderful. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. That's right. Got it right. Jonah. Well, Joy's pet name for Jonah is Bubby. Bubby? Oh. Lovey and Bubby. Oh, Lovey and Bubby. Lovey and Bubby. Lovey and Bubby. Lovey and Bubby. I was trying to name. I was trying to write something with Jonah. Oh. Oh. Like Jonah. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, I know. Okay, Jody, what is one thing about Jory that Jonah can never remember? Jonah is perfect. He remembers everything. <laughs> That's my wrong, my wrong sound. What is it? I can't remember. Phone number. Okay. Oh, oh, that's number. right. The phone number. 210 What was the first thing the bride and groom agreed would be essential for a healthy marriage? Sports. Alcohol. <laughs> Squash. Sports. 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 Football. Oh, oh that is not what I wrote down. <laughs> it was a house cleaner. Mm -hmm. house, 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 the other correct answer for that one is Napa. Totally a mini moon nationally. So please um, can you count up, tally up your correct score, scores. And we do have some surprises over here. So uh, did anyone get 20 out of 20? 20, oh sure. Okay, what about anyone get 15? Okay, anyone get 10? Did anyone count? We really don't know that. I think people are counting. Who did the quiz? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're getting prizes to every table. All right, well done, everyone. Enjoy your set. A tux, if they think it's Jonah, and a wedding dress, if it's Joy. Feel free to, um, you know, encourage the response that you think is correct as well. That's okay. Cheating is uh, encouraged. Okay. Who makes the better breakfast? Oh. <laughs> Who spends a longer amount of time getting ready for a date night? Oh. <laughs> Audience differentiation on that one. Wait, some people said me? Yeah. The, the crowd saw said Because you always look so good. Well, from now on, I, from now on, I wear the tux, so. Okay, who's more likely to burn the house down when cooking? <laughs> Who has better taste in music? Who do you trust behind the wheel? <laughs> Who has the crazier family? Oh. <laughs> yep, it's true. Wow. <laughs> I think my mom just I don't know. I don't know. Wait, it's, you all haven't met the Australia. Uh, that was pretty easy. <laughs> they were here. Yeah, no. Different kinds of crazy. Who snores the loudest? This table knows. Who spends more time scrolling the social media? <laughs> Guilty. Yeah. Who replaces the toilet paper roll? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? <laughs> and who is in charge of the remote control? Jonah. Okay, this table over here knows Jonah very well. 
Who chose the honeymoon location? Oh, it was together. It was together. Oh, okay. okay. We'll we'll let that one pass. Um, okay. Who plans the best date nights? Oh yeah. Oh joy. Get him. Who is the sappy one? Oh. Who is the first to apologize? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Um, who wears the pants in the relationship? <laughs> one's literal, one's figurative, you know. Who's afraid of heights? Who's better at trivia? Oh, Jonah. Who would rather be outdoors? Oh. Oh. I mean, it's really... Yeah. Yeah. Who is more of a party animal? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who's likely to fall asleep in front of the TV? <laughs> The cats. Wrong answer. That's true. Who loves the cats more? That one was very Who's more stubborn? This one's this one's in quotations. Who's the responsible one? <laughs> Who would be the first to lose their keys? Well, I lost them today. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the most likely to cry at their wedding? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the most likely to get lost? <laughs> it depends on what kind of loss. In New York? Yeah, Subway. Yeah. I get lost on Subway. <laughs> Who's the most beautiful bride? Oh. <laughs> uh, who's my most likely to talk their way out of a speeding ticket? Oh. Yes, queen! <laughs> Who is more likely to get sunburned? <laughs> who's more likely to get injured? <laughs> <laughs> Who has more friends? Who has better quality friends? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about the same Come on! Who's more likely to be wow. late? We're in Texas! Come on! <laughs> okay, couple more. So, who is the biggest shopaholic? Joy. Jonah? <laughs> No. <laughs> Who can hold their liquor better? Jonah. <laughs> Who is more likely to be hangry? <laughs> Who said I love you first? And who do you love the most? Aww. You passed. <laughs> All right, everyone, enjoy your meals, and I will hand over to Joy now for a few words. Thank you all so much for being such an important part of our special day. As my dad said, it, it certainly wasn't uh, what we had envisioned when we started planning this probably 18 months ago, um, and it has been through several iterations, and there have been so many spreadsheets to try to keep everyone happy and safe. Um, as we're all trying to navigate these crazy times. Um, but I, I will say it's been, um, I, would, I wouldn't do it any, with anyone else, of course. Um, I'm so happy to be married to my beloved today. And I thank all of you, Showings and Showing Extended Clan and um, Jonas Fan Club for <laughs> making him into the person that he is today. 
Um, it's, that's such a huge gift to me that you didn't know you were working on all these years. And I, I appreciate that and love you guys and, and value you for being his support system and loving him and making him laugh and uh, carrying him across the street or um, getting him out of sticky situations or creating sticky situations in the kitchen together, <laughs> whether it's Beef Wellington or Lemoncello. Um, you all are, are such a treasure to us, and, and thank you for, for loving him and um, welcoming me into to your lives as well. Um, it's been so lovely um, to grow my family in such a meaningful way in the Shrowings um, and have, I, I, I definitely wanted to marry into a big family when I was a little girl, and I, I think I, I succeeded. Yeah. There's uh, like so many fun people on Christmases, and uh, opening packages is absolutely pandemonium, you guys. My grandmother, Jower, would have absolutely had a stroke if she saw this. But it's so much fun, um, and our, our families do have you know different traditions, and like we liked to doing some things that are different, but we really are the same in that we have uh, such strong family values. And um, I, I appreciate that. I also want to thank my side, my, my folks, my fan club, uh, for always being there, whether it's a parade or a graduation um, where dad brings the mobile bar. Uh, some of you have gotten to benefit from that. Some of us might get wet right now, I will tell you, we, we had some photos on Monday, and uh, God was definitely looking after us because only the veil got wet, uh, so, that's, so that's good. Um, my parents and godparents have just been uh, a rock throughout my life, and I, I appreciate you um, for showing up and good times and bad and making meals for us when things were hard. And having fun with us when when we have good times too and New Year's parties and uh, next next go around we're gonna have you've lost that love and feeling karaoke where I'm, I expect to see Wayne and Al. Uh oh. Oh, I was kidding about the sprinkler. I did not realize that was a thing that was going to really happen. That is what um, ACC. Can you guys work on that? Great. Um, Thank you for saving the day, Camille. Um, and to my uh, my dearest friends, uh, you are my family. We have things. We have friendsgivings together. Uh, we've been to different countries together. We've reconnected over the years, uh, and we we have all kinds of bubbles bubbles nights fun and fancy dress nights fun. And uh, you guys are so wonderful and so special to me. And I, I appreciate you being here and supporting us through all of this as well, and um, the smiles on your faces. And um, I just love you. Um, I'll probably stop talking now, because I'm gonna start crying again. But thank you all again for being here. And um, we can't wait to keep celebrating, because I, my vision for this is that we're just gonna keep being newlyweds and like we're, we're gonna keep celebrating our marriage until we get to have the party that we thought we wanted. Um, so, like we said in the email, work on your dance moves for 2021 or whenever it ends up being. Um, but we are gonna continue celebrating um, this love and this family that we're creating together. And we can't wait to continue that celebration with all of you. really not fair going after Joy, <laughs> especially because I'm, I'm usually very uh, to the point when I talk. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, as Joy said, thank you everybody for, for being here. I know it took a little extra effort, um, things being what they are in 2020. Uh, we've had to roll with it, um, so thank you for being flexible. Um, uh, 
a lot has changed since we started planning the wedding. I think the very first thing we discussed when we started planning the wedding was we were absolutely not going to be outside. <laughs> uh, so, who, who would have known? Um, but uh, through all the, the changes we had to make and through all the sort of iterations we had to, to do to figure out how to make this wedding successful, um, Joy has just been such a, such a trooper. She's had backup plans on backup plans on backup plans, backup dresses on backup dresses on backup dresses, um, Google spreadsheets with like 57 tabs. Did you ever get a, a tab count? No. You haven't announced the tab count? Okay, it's very important. Um, you know, and, and Joy's a planner, and this was definitely a the ultimate uh, opportunity for her to plan, I think more so than just maybe she, even she wanted. Um, but I, through all that, I, what Joy, her goal has always been to welcome everybody and to have everybody feel safe and feel that they, you know, are, are know that everyone in here is someone that we love and that we wanted to be here today and that we, you know, we care about and like we're, we're so happy to celebrate with you. Um, and, and that's kind of, that's definitely what I love about Joy is she's so caring, she's so selfless, she's so thoughtful and giving and, you know, she's always thinking 30 moves ahead of me. Um, as much as I tried to help uh, plan, plan the wedding and, and uh, she was usually already, had already thought of it and already taken care of it. Um, so, uh, so yes, so thank you, Joy. Um, I can't imagine, you know, celebrating today with anybody else. I can't imagine spending the rest of my life with anybody else. So, I love you. <laughs> so, whatever class you have in front of you, if you want to raise it, um, here's to the bride, to Joy. Cheers. Tear us apart Puts a lot of love in my heart